going on guys, Thumbnail here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to create custom thumbnails like mine. So uh, custom thumbnails are essential to gathering views on YouTube and uh, you can create either a basic thumbnail or a more advanced one. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic thumbnail that catches your audience attention and uh, in the next tutorial it's going to be how to create a more advanced thumbnail like this one. Step one is to open up a new tab in your internet browser. I prefer using Google. So, um, you're going to want to install a photo editing software. Now, you have two different options that are most known. The first one is Photoshop, but that's like 250 bucks. It's a really expensive software, and I don't think you guys want to fork over the money to get it. Now, I'm sure you can torrent the software, but that is downloading it illegally, and, uh, there's a second option, and that's to use this software called GIMP. I have it right here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in the screen view or not, but uh, so this is GIMP, and it's a free software, and it's just like Photoshop, but it's a lot easier to use. So I prefer GIMP over Photoshop, not only because it's free, but because it's really easy. Download it. You're gonna go to GIMP.org, and you're gonna click this link right here. Now on the sidebar, click Downloads, and you're going to download the latest version of GIMP. And install it, and you're going to be all set to edit some photos. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to dafont.com. That's a website that allows you to download and install custom fonts. So, uh, go to dafont.com, and here at the main page you can see that they sample a few of the recently added uh, fonts. And up here you have all your different font categories. So, I like looking around this website occasionally to find new fonts to use in my videos. And, uh, looking around here, uh, this one looks pretty cool, Axe Handle. So I'm going to download Axe Handle. It's going to go down to my downloads. And Macs make it really easy to install fonts. I'm not entirely sure how it works on Windows because I no longer have a Windows computer. If you need help installing fonts on Windows, I'm pretty sure you can look up on Google how to install fonts. Anyway, so it's going, at least for Axe Handle, it installed into this, uh, into this uh, folder over here. So I'm going to open up the folder. And on Max, it's a TTF uh, file extension, so you're going to want to open up that. And I have this really cool thing called Font Book, and you can easily install the font just by clicking Install. It's going to validate the font, and it should appear in my list of installed fonts, and right there. And as a matter of fact, American Captain's the one that Jack Frost Miner uses, so that's something that you guys should note if you want to use a font like his. So, yeah. Alright, so this is going to be step three in creating custom thumbnails. So I'm sorry, there's actually a third step in creating a custom thumbnail. You're going to want to install or download pictures to use. For instance, in all of my videos, I have the Minecraft Pocket Edition logo on the top right here. Sometimes I also add other pictures, such as the hunger bars here. I added the player skins. I added some redstone. And over here, I added tall grass. Alright, so you can see that I've installed or added pictures to all my thumbnails, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So, if you're a person who makes Minecraft videos, uh, the Minecraft wiki actually makes this very simple for you. I have a link up here. Pretty much just go to the Minecraft wiki. And, let's see, I'm going to make a thumbnail for... Uh, not splash text. It's a thumbnail I can make that requires the use of pictures. You know what? The general Minecraft thumbnails need it. So, anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, now you're on the Pocket Edition page, and this is how to get the logo 
the pocket edition. You can just scroll all the way down past all these items that are listed that are currently in pocket edition. And over here where it says alpha, it's going to show this pocket edition logo. You know, click it. And here's the picture that I always use. Now, one interesting thing about this is that there's a checkered background behind it. That means that it's transparent, so you have no cropping, no editing of this picture. All you have to do is download it. So save image, downloads. Oops. It's been saved to my downloads now. So I can easily open this up, copy and paste it onto the picture. Say you want to add something else. Say, did you not know what? No, redstone. I'll just search up the item redstone. So you want to add redstone to your picture. So you click the image, redstone dust, and you can see it has the picture, the checkered background, so it makes it easy for you to copy and paste. So that's it for downloading pictures. You can go and search the internet for others that you may want to use. But the Pocket Edition logo is all I really want to use for this one because it's going to be a very basic thumbnail. Alright, so now on to step 4, and that's going to be open up GIMP and just let it load. Sometimes it takes a while for the software to open, but yeah, it, sh it should open up pretty quickly. So, on the left, you're going to see this toolbox. Do not X out of the screen because it's really, really useful for making thumbnails. And on the right, you're going to see something that has layers and patterns and gradient effects. Don't worry about this, just minimize this for now because you're not really going to be needing that until next tutorial. To create a new project, go to File and then New. The dimensions for creating a proper thumbnail are 2800 by 720. This makes it an HD picture and YouTube reads it really, really well. Now you're going to create your own background. Now, if you look at some of my thumbnails, for instance, here, you can see I have like this bluish and then it like fades to black towards the edge, or here it's gold and then it fades to black towards the bottom. This is called a gradient effect. Now you can create gradient patterns by selecting these two different squares. So this is the foreground and background, and I'm going to make the foreground blue, like a light blue. And you can also adjust the, uh, the color by moving the slider around. You can move this slider up and down, but I'm going to stick with the sky blue that I've already uh, pre-made. Now you're going to select this tool, it's called the Blend Tool. And you're going to click anywhere on the screen and drag. And now you're going to see that it creates like a darker light blue up here and then it fades to white. Uh, I'm going to make it try again with a different gradient effect, so like that. And it sort of fades down like that. You can also change the shape. This is a linear uh, type shading, so it'll be one color up here, fades sort of in the middle and then it'll be a different color down here. You can change that shape to, say, radial. Now, you can see that it kind of fades towards the edges. You can also swap these two colors by clicking this little arrow. So now it's going to be white towards the center and blue towards the edges. I'm going to make this rather easy for you guys to see. I'm going to make it orange and black. And it's going to be a radial shape, look of radial. And that looks pretty cool. You can see it sort of starts up here and then it fans out and it's darker towards the bottom. So again, you guys can just play around with these uh, gradient effects. Now, you're going to want to go to File and then Open. Now, remember where you saved the downloaded picture because you're going to need that. For instance, I saved mine to my downloads. It's the Pocket Edition logo, so I'm going to go to um, my username. And then I'm going to go to Downloads. I'm going to look for the image labeled Minecraft PE logo. I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to minimize these two screens, and you're going to see it right here. Um, you're going to want to copy it to the clipboard by doing Control C, or on a Mac, it's Command C. It's going to say uh, Copy uh, Pixels to Clipboard. And now you're going to want to do. Uh, just, oh, no, 
bring this toolbox back up because you're going to need another tool in here in a minute. Now you're going to do Control V or Command V and that'll paste it onto the image. Now, you see this rectangle-y thing up here? You're going to want to select that. This is the Select tool. This will allow you to move the picture around on the image. Now, you're also going to want to resize this. I always size it up to about 800 pixels. I believe it's 400 in length. I always size it up to around 800, so that way it covers most of the top of the image. To do this, you're going to go to Layer, and then Scale Layer. Now, you see where it says width? You want to change the width to 800. This will scale the image up greatly, and it will allow you to see it better when browsing on YouTube. So try your best to center this, and click down to paste it on. Now it's stuck on the image. Should you screw up, you can always hit Command Z or Control Z to undo it, and you'll see that I'll jump back and it'll be a floating layer again and you can paste it however you want so I'm gonna go back to pasting it there now we need to add our text so you're gonna wanna click and drag oh, wait no I'm sorry first you're gonna wanna go over to the toolbox and select this letter A this is the text box and then just click and drag and shape the text box however you want it now start typing uh, what's the thumbnail I'm going to make this for? I'm going to make this for plugin support custom maps. So you want this text to be centered? Well, don't worry, because there's a tool that allows you to easily do this. Right here now, this is, uh, this is changed from being like a, a blending area to now a text area. So I'm going to center this just by clicking this and the text is now centered just like that now I'm going to change this to the font that I downloaded now you have to remember the name of it like I installed axe handle which is actually a really cool font and I'm thinking of using this for future videos but uh and so you highlight it change it to axe handle which I already did and now you can increase the font size by either changing this number, I'm going to say, say 100, which, wow, that's still small, so I'm going to increase it using these arrows, and adjust it to whatever size you want. And you can also change the text color by clicking the square, and then changing the color to whatever pleases you. I'm actually a really big fan of this font, and I'm probably going to use it for other videos of mine. So now we're going to want to export the picture because this is our masterpiece right here. We're going to want to use this for our video. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and then Export. Name the picture whatever you want. I'm going to name this Thumbnail A. Oh no, that's not an A, that's, that's an A. And I'm going to save it to my desktop so that way it's easy for me to upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to export it and I'm gonna click export and watch as the bar fills up now we can go over to Safari or whatever our internet browser is go to our uploads which I'm already in and uh, find the video that you wanna add the thumbnail to in this case it's gonna be the plugin support video so you're gonna click edit and then it's gonna go to uh, custom thumbnail now find the thumbnail on your desktop uh, I think I named it thumbnail A, so right here, I'm going to choose this, and let it publish. And there's our beautiful thumbnail. Save the changes so we don't lose it. And once this saves, you can close out or go back to the video manager. And there's our thumbnail. Looks pretty nice, and I'm relatively satisfied with it. Anyway, this is the end of the video, so if you found this helpful, leave a like, leave a favorite. Also, follow me on Twitter at CubeThunder for channel updates. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome pocket edition content, and as always, I'll catch you next video.